Or would you believe you can get a 17 minute flight from a tiny hook? So you can if you actually use the lithium ion batteries. So these are the, the Panasonic uh, VTC6. Uh, these are the 18650s, 3000 milliamp hour cells. Uh, I've got one set up there, that's just a single cell, 1S. And this one here, I've soldered this up as a 2S with a, um, a balance lead on it there. So using these ones with the 1S, you're going to get about, um, about a 9 minute flight. And with a 2S, you're going to get a 17 minute flight. Okay, a little bit about the Tiny Hawk. Uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty much a standard Tiny Hawk, but I've upgraded it a little bit. So we'll look at a few things here. Uh, I think you can see underneath here, we've got the, the tracer system on it. So I'm running TBS tracer. So if you're going to go for the long range and duration, of course, you'll need a, a better control link. So that's the tracer antennas there. Um, I'm also running a TBS Nano. Uh, it's a 400 milliwatt VTX and the, uh, the Axie Lumineer antenna. Okay, so we'll have a look at a, a couple of flight videos. First of all, we've got the, the flight video for the 1S. Um, and I'll, I'll show you the video and I'll talk over it a little bit and, um, and I'll skip through the, the middle of it so it doesn't get too long. And that's going to be uh, a nine minute flight. And then we'll, we'll come back and then we'll have a look at the, um, the 2S one. So here we go, let's try the 1S first. Okay, so two things to look at here. First on the bottom left hand side of the screen is the throttle position. So you see on takeoff there we're, we're going pretty much up to full throttle, about 93%. And of course uh, the low battery warnings coming on that can be disabled in, in beta flight. Okay, so we're just going to cruise around here. You can see the uh, you can see the throttle position down bottom left, and then on the the top left you've got the fly time. And we're just going to go through this. So I'll just fast forward through the middle section of the video, and then we'll come back and watch the landing. Alright, so here we are at the end of the flight. So we're pushing up around 9 minutes, 8 minutes 40 seconds at the moment. Uh, but you see, if you look down there at the throttle, it's pretty much up against the plastic. It's it's on 90 to 100% throttle. Uh, battery, interesting, the battery is still at uh, 2.9 volts. So we've got plenty to go, but uh, basically, you know, the battery sag is just uh, just pulling the battery down and we're not going to, we're not going to get much, much more. Uh, so basically, uh, with the, the throttle full up, I'm not actually gaining altitude, and we're going to land it right here. Uh, so you can see, yeah, up, up over nine minutes. Um, definitely wouldn't recommend flying it on 1S, but uh, this is what happens if you do. And we'll just have a look at the time here. So there we go, nine minutes 23, so we'll call it nine minutes. Okay, so there you go. That's with the, the 1S battery. And uh, I think you probably agree, it's probably not such a good performance on the 1S battery. I mean, it, it flies quite well. Uh, but you're really sitting quite high in the in the throttle range. Higher than what you, definitely a lot higher than what you want to be uh, when you're flying. So, uh, just to prove that you can do it, that's the 1S, and it does fly on the 1S. And uh, I think you saw there we got 9 minutes flight time. Okay, let's have a look at the next video. So the next one, we're going to go for the 2S. Uh, 7.4 volt uh, 2S battery and we'll see how that one goes. Well here we go with the 2S battery. So we're up and flying. Um, okay, first thing you can see on the bottom left there, we're, we're sitting on about 53% throttle as we, we gain a bit of altitude. You know, it's not too bad. 
uh, voltage is at 7.4 volts so we've dropped straight down to 7.4 volts uh, that's fine you know we can go down to 5 or even 4.5 volts you know 2.5 volts per cell is a good place to cut off uh, but of course you know even if we go a bit below that uh, the cell voltage will will bounce back up a little bit uh, once we we take the load off okay so once again we're just going to fast forward through the, the middle part of the video and we'll get to the end Okay, so just over 16 minutes flight time now. Just having a look at the throttle, then about 76%, so it's getting up there. Uh, battery voltage is dropping down to 5, so it sags pretty quickly now at the end. Uh, I don't want to get it too low below 5 volts, and of course it'll bounce back up again. So we're just going to probably come in here and do a landing, and you know, we'll, get, we'll get a 17 minute flight. So there we go, you can see the, the battery voltage down there to almost down to 4.2, 4.3 volts. And we'll just, uh, after we land, we'll just have a look at the battery voltage and uh, and see just what it pops up to. So that's 4.2 volts there. And just, just looking at the battery voltage there, it's coming back up to 6.1 around about there. And that's the flight with the 2S. So I think you can see the, the 2S battery works much better. Uh, you're much better in the throttle, uh, sitting around 50 or 60% I think there. Uh, so definitely you could you could run it on 1S, uh, but definitely I would recommend if you're using a lithium ion battery, go for the 2S and solder it up with a balance connector. Uh, don't solder it up like this one, this is just, uh, just soldered up temporary. Uh, if I was doing this properly, I'd, I'd solder, it up, uh, solder it up correctly. Uh, but there you go, yeah, not too bad. Uh, 17 minute flight from a Tiny Hawk.